Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel and today we are reviewing Schecter C1 Apocalypse with rusty grey paint job I guess. So first of all let's talk about the features this guitar provides. So you get uh, swamp ash body, uh, the fingerboard is ebony, the neck is made of maple and paduk five piece neck, you get locking tuners, Schecter branded locking tuners, they work perfectly fine. You get three knobs on your guitar. The first one controls the volume for bridge pickup, the second one controls the volume for neck pickup and the third one is tone knob but you also get coil split. You get three way switch. Other than that you get the Schecter US Apocalypse pickups both on neck and uh, bridge. What else? It gets a uh, Graftec uh, nut or oh, you get matching kind of like headstock. It's similar to that of the body, you can see, ta-da, mm, am I forgetting anything? Ha, huh, it has compound radius, which means uh, from the first fret till 12th fret, I think it's 12, and after that it changed to 16, and it's a very metal focused guitar. Oh, you also get um, the binding, the black binding, if you can see, hey, focus, the black binding throughout the guitar, it's carried out all the way, pretty nice. Uh, the only guitar I think... I have seen this robust was from Harley Benton, their 8 string and that was neck, th neck through construction while this is sat neck that means there is this little scarf beautiful joint and it's glued. I always say the name suits the guitar so very much it's like you can take this as a weapon in case of apocalypse or there is zombie invasion. Ah the scale length is 25.5 inches from nut to bridge. It also gets hip shot bridge as I said earlier. The color I think they call it rusty rusty gray or something but mine has more like a green greenish fade to it but I do know guitars that have a very clear grayish look. Now a story behind how I got my hands on this guitar. I have this kind of love and hate relationship with Schecter. I remember uh, I was in New Delhi and I played a red colored Schecter. That was also a C1 series but it had I think Tunematic Bridge and I played it and I hated it because the frets they were so bad and uh, there was no character to the guitar. Once I was in Germany I was going through eBay Klein and Zeigen and man it looked so nice it was like I need to I need to touch the grain and I need to feel like how does this guitar feel in your hands uh, and I contacted the person and I was like man I want to buy the guitar and at the time he was like yeah available for 700 euros luckily he was traveling that day and he kept the guitar in his car he went to his holidays when he came back uh, he traveled certain kilometers for me to another city and then I got this guitar so shout out to the beautiful man mr. I need to say how to pronounce his name see he sent me a YouTube link how pronounce to pronounce names.com Dima Dima, thank you so very much Dima. We are still YouTube friends. Uh, we are friends on Instagram. He supports my music and this beauty used to belong to him. Having this guitar, man. My next track, a Be Right Back in Real Life, was tracked on this guitar. It feels so nice. I mean, the guitar is really cool. It has the character, it has the charisma and I, uh, I feel so happy to own this guitar. It's a beautiful guitar. You have no fret, oh fret, you have no fret inlays other than on a 12th fret uh, triangle and then on 24th fret another triangle and that I like. It does have uh, luminlays, side dots, so you need to put the light, you need to charge them up and on a stage, if you play in dark, they glow. Haha, <laughs> they glow in dark. That's why they are called glow in dark inlays haha <laughs> so i'll be playing some because it is a metal focused guitar should i do cleans i'll still do some cleans because uh, from the official website they say that it is a very huh, they say it provides a lot of tonal possibilities so we will check we'll play some distortion distorted parts distorted riff riff riffs and then we'll play some cleans. I'm going through my Empero 1, ta -ta -ta -ta, big boy, uh, going into my interface, which is Volt something, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, let's see how that goes.
now it's boot because I need to turn on the volume knob for this pickup I hope you liked whatever you watched and in case you want to support me and make sure my music reaches new audience please feel free to check my channel and my songs also I would love to get your feedback tell me about things that I can improve on uh, yeah have a fantastic day and a fantastic life until next time